everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will create a live audio room using Zico Cloud. I know you'll be wondering what a live audio room is. Let me explain. Imagine an online meeting on Microsoft Teams. Everybody is on video call talking to each other, which by the way, you can also create by clicking on the i button. But now imagine the same scenario without a video call, only a meeting where people are talking to each other through audio. And that's what a live audio room is. To make it clear to you, let me show you the demo. This is what the app looks like. It has two options, either to create a live audio room or to join a live audio room. So first I'll write my name and create a live audio room. Here we are. The app assigns us a random room ID where I am the host. Now I'll share this room ID with other joinee. So let's have a look at the other device. Here I will write the same room ID and my name, click on join live audio room, accept the user and look here we are, we can talk, chat and much more. Now you have a pretty good idea of how it works, right? So let's create it. Open Android Studio, create a new project, choose empty wheels activity, name the project the live audio room and click on finish. At the start, as I said, we will be using Zigo Cloud API. So like how we used to have Google Maps API for the Maps app, News API for the News app, Weather API for the Weather app. Likewise, we have a Zigo Cloud API for the Live Audio Room app, Chat app, Conference app, Video calls, Voice calls and many more. Let me show you. Go to the zigocloud.com website. I have provided the link in the description box. This is what the website looks like. So Zigo Cloud is a global communication service provider that provides developer friendly and powerful SDK and APIs to build communication features for our app. They offer multiple services like video calls, voice calls, live streaming, in-app chat, cloud recording, AI effect, super board and digital human. You can see more of their services over here in UI kits. Also, Zigo Cloud provides you with 20 plus UI gates for different services. Means they already provide you with the code which makes app building quicker and easier. We'll be using their live audio room service for our project. With the help of Zigo Cloud's live audio room API, you can easily build your app within minutes. So let's start. To integrate the Zigo Cloud API into our project, first we need to register. So click on sign up. See, as I said, in 30 minutes, you will have a fully functional live audio room app with few lines of code only. Isn't that cool? Also, initially, you will get 10,000 minutes free to use where you can create your app, test your app, and if required, you can go for the premium. The best part about this API is that you don't require any initial card or payment hassle. So it is developer friendly and even student friendly. Also, it works with so many tools and platforms like React, Swift, Angular, Flutter, Android, Java, and JavaScript. Isn't that amazing? Now to register, write your first name, last name, country, and your work email. Then a verification code will be sent to your provided email. Write it here. Then create a password. Then lastly, tick both of them and click on start your free trial. Then a box will appear where you can mention your company name, job title, industry and phone number. And that's it. See, in the free trial, you'll be getting 10,000 minutes for free. And also, you'll be getting an advanced support plan. So please make the most use of it. Then click on go to dashboard. This is what the Zigo Cloud dashboard looks like. You can see all your projects here, plus their usage and analytics, everything. So let's create our project. Click on create your first project. These are all the use cases out of which we will go for live audio room. Click on next. Write your project name. It can be the same name or different from your Android project. Then there are two ways to get started. First is UI kits and second is SDKs. In UI kits, there is less amount of code and your app will be ready within 30 minutes. While SDKs are used for big projects where you want a fully customized app. Hence, we will go for UI Kids. Choose Android and click on Start with UI Kids. 
wait and done. Then here choose Android. Next, click on save and start to integrate. This is our configuration page where you will find your app ID and app sign. Both of them are very important. Hence, please keep them safe. They are used for authentication to integrate into your app. Then click on quick start. Here you will find the code that you can simply integrate into your app. The documentation code is in Java as well as Kotli. All you have to do is follow step by step. We have six steps to perform. So step number one is to add Jetpack configuration, not Jetpack, okay? Copy these lines and paste them here in the settings gradle below Maven Central. Rewrite them according to our code and done. Then step number two is to add a dependency. So copy this line and paste it here in the build gradle. Now click on sync now. Then step number three is to add permissions. So go to Android manifest, add record audio permission, modify audio settings and of course internet permission. Next step number four is to create another activity. Our main activity is our login screen, right? Hence, we will create a second activity named Live Audio Room and done. This is where the live audio meetings will happen. Now, step number five is designing the UI. So, go to activity main XML. Here, the design is pretty simple. We have to create two edit text for room ID and a username and two buttons to create a live audio room and to join a live audio room. So, let's do it. First, create a vertical linear layout. Inside it, create an edit text with ID as username underscore edit text and hint as enter your name. Then below it, create another edit text with ID as room ID underscore edit text and hint as enter room ID in brackets for joining only. Then next, create a button whose ID is create underscore life and write other attributes. Again, create another button whose ID is join underscore life with some other important attributes and done. Now go to activity live audio room. Here, the design is also simple. All we have to do is to create a text view to display room ID and a frame layout in which Zico Cloud will provide its UI. We don't have to create all of these microphones or user profiles, nothing. Zico Cloud will do it for us. That's what an API is for. Hence, create a constraint layout. Inside it, a text view whose ID is room ID underscore text with all the other attributes and constraints. Then below it, create a frame layout whose ID is fragment underscore container with all the other attributes. And that's it. Our UIs are completed. Now the last step, which is step number six, where we will write the logic. Hence, go to main activity. Here we have to do four things. Set up the create live button. Set up the join live button. Generate a random user ID and also a random room ID. So let's do it. First, declare and initialize the app ID and app sign. For privacy reason, I am keeping it confidential, but you can copy your app ID and app sign from here. Then declare and initialize all the UI elements such as username edit text, room ID edit text, create live button, and join live button. And now we need a user ID, a username, and a room ID out of which we already taking your username from the user itself through edit text right so what we need is a random user id and a random room id so that every user has a unique user id as well as unique room id hence create a generate user id function which returns a string in the end inside it it returns a random number between 10000 to 99000 as a string Next, we will do the same thing for generating a room ID. Here, create a function generate room ID, which returns a string at the end. But this time, we will also use characters. So, write all the characters and numbers. Then, it will return a six digit ID 
which will map to random characters and return it as a string. Now let's write the code for creating a live audio room button. Set on click listener on it. As I said, we need three things. A user ID for which we will use a random user ID. A username which we will take from the user through edit text. And in case the user leaves it empty, then the default will look like host underscore user ID. And third is room ID. Again, we will use a random room ID. Now, once we have all these things, all we have to do is pass this to our next activity, which is live audio room using the put extra intent. Hence, create an intent that takes the user to the live audio room once the create live button is clicked. While moving, it also passes all the required attributes such as keeping the host as true because you created this live, right? Hence, you are the host. Then room ID, app ID, app sign, user ID and username. And finally, start the activity. Then we will do the same thing for join live as well. Set on click listener on it. Add the user ID, username through edit text. And if it is empty, then it will look like guest underscore user ID. Now, to join, the room ID is mandatory. Hence, take the room ID from the user. But if it is empty, then throw a toast as please enter the room ID and return it to set on click listener. Again, we will use the intent to navigate the user from the login screen to live audio room. But this time keeping host as false because we are the participant, right? Then room ID, app ID, app sign, user ID and username. And again, start activity. Our login screen is done. Now go to live audio room. Here we will receive all the attributes that we passed from the login screen and configure them using Zego Cloud. First, we will receive the room ID. Now to receive the value, we use get string extra. And to pass the value, we use put extra. Correct? This is very important, the name. Please write the same name as we wrote while passing the value. But if it's fail, then write unknown. Now, once we have received the room ID, we will set it on the room ID text. So declare and initialize the text view. Now to set the text, we use dot text and room ID. Next, let's create the fragment where Zigo Cloud UI will be present. Hence, create a function add fragment. You can refer to the documentation as well to write the code. It's almost similar. Now here, receive all the values such as app ID, app sign, user ID, username, is host and room ID also. Please use the correct data types and names. These are all the values in case the transfer fails. Now write the config. If is host is true. In that case, we will use Zico UI Kid pre-built live audio room config as host. Means creating the live. Else, if is host is false, then use Zigo UI Kit pre-built live audio room config dot audience means joining the live. Then create an instance Zigo UI Kit pre-built live audio room fragment, which will contain all the values such as app ID, app sign, user ID, username, room ID, and config for the host. Last but not the least, set up your fragment using the fragment manager. Here, we replace a fragment with our fragment container and commit. Don't forget to mention the add fragment function here inside the on create. And that's it. Our live audio room is ready. Let's run the app. Here we have two devices. This is device one from which we'll create a live. And this is device two from which we'll join the live. So on the first device, I'll write a username and click on create live audio room button, give permissions, and here we are as a host, and also a random six digit room ID. Then on the second device, I'll write the same room ID over here, and a username. Click on join live audio room button, and here we are as an audience. Click apply to take a seat, and from here, the host will approve it. 
allow permission and here you go. You can see the participant list, chat with other users and talk through enabling the mic. And by clicking on this turn off icon, you can leave the meeting. Isn't it full of features? You can also add more features like background or customizing the seats or even avatars for user profile. So much more using the Zego Cloud documentation. Hence, don't forget to check out the Zico Cloud API website where you will find all their services and UI kits. Sign up right now and get 10,000 minutes free. You will find all the links and offers in the description box. So yeah, that's it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.